So I was on a bus uh, going to Tokyo where I was playing uh, 2001 with Above and Beyond. It was their second ever gig. Um, and I had this idea, you know, I was playing music from around the world, hearing music around the world and thought, well, let's start up this label um, and let's call it Mondo, which means world in Italian. And that's how it came about. Um, and um, and then I put out various records on it. I started, I, I was doing this gig with Amanda at this ridiculous club called The Elephant Club. And then, so one of the first records I did was called The Elephant, Are You Ready? <laughs> Which is a, so this was that the first Mondo record. release? That, it was that. As a, it was the a, Elephant, was, Are You Ready? And then there was a, on the other side was a track I did with Marcella Woods called Lifted. Right. Which, yes, yeah, so I did a track with her. Um, and, and I think that was the first ever release. Actually. And actually, the, it just has a piece of an elephant on it. That is it. And wow. actually, because actually it wasn't, but the first, and then the first proper artwork release for Mondo was, was Let the Light Shine In and Now's the Time. Um, which course. I did with John and Carl. Let and, me and ask you Cobbin. another question about Mondo then. What was the first, who was the first artist you signed to Mondo that had nothing to do with one of your own productions? Can you remember the first track you had on there oh, that wasn't God, one of no. yours? Do you know what I was Coffin. No, but he, he was on my, it was with me though, wasn't it? Oh, that, it was, was that, that, that was a collaboration. That was collaboration. Like, right. I'd actually have to look it up. Yeah, I don't, you don't remember. I have to look it up. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember because it's just good. I did. I think it might have been. Um, Hold on a minute, isn't that the JFK? It might have been JFK with Prime Mover, which was Dave Parkinson. Was it? And Aaron. Yeah, and, and so he was in the room next to you, Dave Parkinson. Yeah, but and and so I think it's possible that theirs was the next because they were really into the what were already stuck out. Right. So it's possible that they were the the next. I remember coming down to your studio in in uh, Hornsey. And they were in the room next to you, weren't they? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, they're the studio next they, to you. They would be, and you'd go in there, it would be like going in, instead of going to the studio, it would be like going to a cave. Yeah, it was. They'd be like dancing around, like oh, jumping wow. off the walls, and there's no acoustics, it's just all reverb. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what do you think, Tatsy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, and I'm like, oh, it's just noise. I don't know how you can hear anything. Yeah, that's the knockout. Yeah. From good fucking. Oh, I don't know, Have good, you had your 20th? Anniversary then, yeah? If you're saying it was around the beginning of the 2000s. No. Stop. It, it, it was after, yeah. we've had it, we did it. Oh, we you've had it, the 20 it, years. It just, okay. We did a 20 year album um, a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. So, Senior, I think we call it. And, oh. and that, so that, yeah, that's gone and been and gone. It's the next one now. Interesting. The next, the next big milestone. How did the name Lustral come about? Um, so, so, uh, we weren't going to call it Lustral to start with. It was going to be called something else, which would have been a fucking terrible name. It was going to be Sun Forest, yeah. oh. which was really bad. I know. And I might then, just call you that now. You can do if you want. You'll um, be Forest. <laughs> sun Forest, yeah. Or well, Forest and Sun, maybe. Forest and Sun. Forest and, sun. <laughs> and then sounds like butchers. Yeah, yeah that's the idea. And then the label, um, Hooch, Jerry had, um, you know, the DJ Lottie. Yes. She was working for him, and um, and he said, "Look, that's a terrible name." And uh, everyone was trying to come up with a name, and then she just came up with his name, and she said, "What about Lustral?" We like, "Oh, what's that?" Mm -hmm. "Don't know." And we said, "All right, we'll have it. We'll take that." No, we'll so what we did, yeah, but he, she looked it up in a we'll dictionary. We were going. To, it was Jerry. It was like a Friday afternoon, and Jerry said, "Right, you guys are not leaving here until we've got an artist's name." I think she gave us the wrong definition because it was years later we kind of realised. Because you know, Lustral is an antidepressive pill. It is <laughs> yeah, a, but it, but it it's also, a pill from Pfizer that is an yeah, antidepressant. Yeah, but, it, but it does mean a ceremony of religious uh, significance. That's true. That it's was true. the definition in the dictionary. Uh, when you come to my just, house, it's a ceremony that, of religious yeah, significance. Yeah. That's better than the antidepressant. Pill. But I think I like the antidepressant vibe. That's your vibe, isn't yeah, it? It is, yeah. yeah. It's definitely your vibe. It yeah. is. It's really. Right. <laughs> People in glass houses. Yeah. Really and you, what did you vibe. do last night? Proper vibe. Yeah, so um, that was it. It was Lottie, <laughs> wasn't it? It was... Uh, yeah. Thank you, Lottie, wherever you are. Yeah. Well, beautiful story. A best gig. Beautiful story. <laughs> best gig what you've best ever gig done, you... or slash, and... Um, Can I say the best gig I've ever been to? Yeah, do in you terms of like you've ever been to, do the best of anything. The one that I blew me... Say the Chemical Brothers. Yeah, the Chemical Brothers at the Astoria in the mid-90s, when they were still called the Dust Brothers. Right. Well, they had to yeah. change their name because there was obviously no okay. else brothers, and that was mind blowing. And um, you, you can imagine. I mean, everyone knows what they're like now. 
But imagine hearing that for the first time, mm. what we didn't all know at the time of the chemical brother. Like, what the fuck is this? That was amazing. Yeah. Left. Uh, did we go and see Leftfield together in that? Uh, I think I was at the was same amazing, rave with you, yeah. but I don't think I was in the same tent. Yeah. I was having a cup of tea. <laughs> best gig I've been to, I don't know. Best, what about basically you played? What was the best one you've actually played? I, I got to say the Lenium in Thailand. Yeah, that's amazing. That's yeah. Brilliant. On the beach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've been, I, and, I, and that would have been one well, of the, I've been to, been to the, the parties, so yeah. that definitely one of the ones on the I've beach been to. Yeah. Definitely it the biggest the party, but it was the best, I mean, just to see yeah. how yeah. that's, that's pretty amazing. amazing. Yeah. 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 What about you? You've played a I lot know, I played a world. lot of these. I had this one gig I did, which was amazing for MTV, which was in Malta, where they had the, the uh, DJ booth suspended over um, a beach, and, and it was built in the set of where they filmed the film Popeye with the Robin Williams film. Oh, wow. and so they built the whole thing. The set was built up the side of this mountain, God, and you great. had people come in their boats, dancing on the boats and on the beach. But that also ties into my worst after party ever, where I was then told we would be going back to Elizabeth Taylor's old boat for it, this yacht for this party. Which are obviously going to be of epic proportions. I was like, oh, this sounds like it's going to be great. I get on this little dinghy and I go to this party and I'm there with some guys from MTV. So I get, get on it. And then there's just some geezer eating a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Nothing else. No anything, nothing. Just some guy. That's goes, hilarious. What do you want? It was like, and we were all stuck together, and then we just so I sat there having beers with these guys from MTV. Funnily enough, got a very tasty sink out of it at the end because they put the sun is shining down on me on a TDK Europe ever after that. Nice. So, so it ended. It was well. a happy ending, which we all like. All right? well. So you like a happy ending, don't you? Well. Steve loves a good ending. happy, especially I'm Ricky. I'm going to go all German football. A question we've had from one of the, your viewers. Yeah. So uh, Timmy, f Timmy writes in and asks Timmy. Ask who's the biggest C U N T in dance music? Mm. Oh, that's easy. It's got to be 